Hey, it's Jacob Way back again with another video. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing my DVD board game collection. Um, so I, I just did like my, my seen it DVD board game collection in my last video. Uh, so it's going to be all the DVD board games that aren't uh, seen it related. So yeah. Okay. There we go. I was just adjusting something there. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to be all of the uh, DVD board games I have that aren't seen it related. Um, and it was a little bit of a hassle to get all these out because they were like spread out across all of my different stacks in my board game room and stuff. Even I had to get my mom to help me and stuff. But, um, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, let's get started. First one I have here is Planet Earth, the interactive DVD game. I found this at a thrift store randomly one time and I thought it looked cool. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, and yeah, it says spectacular footage, incredible facts, a game about our planet. I never really liked the Planet Earth show that much, to be honest. I actually have the complete series of the Planet Earth show on Blu-ray, I think. Actually, if I remember correctly, I stole it from my brother's room once. But uh, yeah. Oh, and also, just like the scene up video, I'm not going to show everything a little piece in all these boxes. So it might take a little too long, I'm just going to show the fronts and back of the boxes, but, um, yeah, so basically, uh, it says it includes the interactive DVD game, like a DVD and stuff, game board, double-sided puzzle, die, player tokens, and player guide. So basically, you answer, I think for, I haven't played this game in a while, but I think from a request of how it works is, um, you answer questions, like curious questions about planet Earth and stuff on the DVD, and then when you get questions right, you earn puzzle pieces to put together, like the puzzle that's in the middle of the board. And I think it's like whoever can get the puzzle done first wins, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, and also I have two separate stacks put together here, so I might have to like go off screen for a minute to get my other stack over here. I'm done with this stack, but yeah, anyway. Uh, this next one is Madagascar Animal Trivia DVD, and this is another random thrift store find. Um, this is a, this is a pretty cool game too. Um, I really like Madagascar, one of my favorite DreamWorks uh, franchises, if you will. And uh, yeah, I think one bit, but one bit hard. They just just made this like trivia about the Madagascar movies and stuff instead of just general animal trivia. But, you know, whatever. Here's the back. It says over 1,600 DVD questions. And actually, there's no, like, board or anything in here. It's just the DVD. So there's no need for them to make a full box when it's, like, just a DVD in here. But, uh, yeah. I really like DVD games, though, because they're basically video games in DVD form. Um, and it... It says rate E for everyone down here at GTA Minute, rating just like a video game rating. Anyway, that's that. Next up, we have a Deal or No Deal DVD game. Deal or No Deal is a good game show. And, um, yeah, I believe I got this for Christmas or something, my birthday or Christmas or something. And, uh, yeah, I remember the first couple times that uh, me and my mom tried to play it, it like, uh, wouldn't work at first, but then it started working, I think. Like, it wouldn't load up at first for some reason. But, uh, yeah. It's basically, you, be you become a contestant on deal and no deal and stuff, and this is just like the Madagascar DVD game, because there's just a DVD in here, there's no board or anything, so there's no need for them to make, like, a whole box and stuff, and it's just a DVD, but, you know, whatever. That's it. Uh, next up is Family Feud. Um, so yes, this is a Family Feud DVD game. Um, uh, just like how the Dylan Odeo DVD game, you're basically a contestant on Dylan Odeo. On this Family Feud DVD game, you're contestant on Family Feud. And, uh, so yeah, this is what like the questions look like on the DVD and stuff. Um, 
this one actually doesn't just come with a DVD, it uh, also comes with, uh, like, dry erase markers and boards and stuff to write down your answers on. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, this next one is a Christmassy one, which is Rudolph and Elgrina, the DVD game. Um, uh, this is actually made by the same company, I mean, the Scenic Games, Screen Life, as you can see in, in the top right there. Um, usually when Christmas rolls around every year, I get this game out. And, um, yeah, since it's a Christmas Eve game, every, each time Christmas rolls around, I dig out this game to play with, like, either my mom or my brother or whatever. It's a bit of a complicated game, actually. Um, you'd think the game out real run of the green, it wouldn't be that complicated, but essentially it's a little bit of a complicated game. Usually, um, usually whenever I want to play this game, I get it out, whoever I, me and whoever I play it with. Uh, have, have a hard time understanding it, but uh, yeah, this is what the board looks like. There's like four little sections here, like Santa's Castle, Great North Mountains, um, the Elves of the Playground, and Elf Toy Shop. So, yeah. Um, by the way, um, I forgot to say, Family Feud was another present for my birthday and Christmas and stuff, I believe. And then the Rule Offer and those Rainer DVD game, I don't remember where I got off that, because I've had that for a long time. So, yeah. Uh, this next one is a game called Bunko, the interactive DVD game with real 3D dice. And apparently it's the official DVD game with the World Bunko Association, as you can see on the bottom right there. This was yet another random thrift store find, and uh, I I never heard of, of this game before, Bunko, when I got this, but, um, yeah, it look, looked to be, like, basically a DVD version of uh, Yahtzee, kind of. Um, I found it pretty fun, but, um, I remember me and my brother played it once, and it was kind of boring, but you just keep clicking the, the button on the remote to keep rolling the dice and you put your scores on the score pad and stuff and it's kind of a boring game actually i've only ever played that one time i probably have no problem getting rid of this don't really care about this that game that much but uh yeah that's that see as you can see you just like roll the dice and stuff and it says oh no i want that for the wipe out so exciting <laughs> um yeah, that's just a bit of a boring game, to be honest. Uh, this next one is American Kennel Club DVD board game. It's basically um, stuff about, like, dogs and stuff. It's pretty cool, and I remember... Um, and there's an interesting way that I got this, actually. I got this from my ex-best friend. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name or anything. Don't want to, like, call her out or anything. But, uh, you know, when my... Um, I went to my ex-best friend's house when we were still best friends, uh, one time we hung on stuff, and she had this game, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I said I wanted to play, but she didn't actually have a DVD player at her house or anything like that, or, well, actually, if I remember correctly, I think she did, but she couldn't find it anywhere, um, so she said next time that she came out, came over to my house, um, she would bring it over, because I have obviously have like video game consoles and stuff that you can play DVDs on and stuff. So she brought it over the next time I had it at my house and it was a pretty fun game. Um, when I found it when I was sitting at her house, um, she had said she, she had never played a game before. She didn't even remember where she had got it from. Uh, she didn't know much about it or whatever. Um, and so she said, since she didn't really care that much for this game, she was just going to give it away to one of her friends or something. And I was like, hey, give, give it to me, I'll play it, can you? And she was like, really? I didn't think you really liked this game that much, because um, definitely was the most exciting game we played, but I still liked it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I liked it. And then she's like, all right, and she, and she gave it to me. So, yeah, I got this game for free from my ex-best friend. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, it says become a dog expert. The race is on. Players compete against each other by moving, maneuvering their way through an obstacle course and testing their knowledge with DB challenges. The first to the finish line is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That says components, game board, playing plans, DVD, six handed die, dog trees playing pieces, and a dog bowl. Um, and that's what the board looks like there. And then that's, that's what some of the DVD challenges look like right there. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but uh, a lot of this game, um, there's actually not a lot of components of this game that needs a DVD. There's only like a couple of things that you do with the game. Like on the DVD, it's mainly mainly six like the board and stuff. Obviously, there's the DVD challenges on the DVD and stuff. But uh, yeah. And this is the last one in this stack. I have a second stack that's like, let me put this out real quick. Okay, I have a second stack that's like way over there. So I'm gonna have to grab after I show this one. But uh, yeah, this next game is called America Discovery Channel American Road Trip DVD game. Um, and uh, this one was yet another random thrift store find. Uh, I played this game like once. Uh, it's pretty cool it's just like trivia about the u.s and stuff stuff like that and since prepared to encounter over 300 interactive challenges and striking video footage across the 50 united states just all about the united states and stuff and it says bonus games included for use on audio cd players trip teasers and i don't think these are actually included in here when i got it let me check real quick actually i have time Like these are the bonus games I was talking about. Trip teasers for like nature calls, uh, limericks, and what's this third one under here? Oh, and the name of that sound as well. So I guess these are supposed to be like um, just like little CDs they can pop and then play the games on them while you're on a road trip or something. And then here's the actual case of the DVD and stuff. I mean, I wasn't gonna open the boxes of any of these games, so I made an exception here because I didn't remember if those bonus CD games were actually included in here. But lo and behold, they were. Anyway. Moving on. Moving swiftly on, if you will. Uh, I just have to go over here and grab the second stack of games here. Be right back. second stack of games, if you will. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's continue on, shall we? So, this next one I have is Press Your Luck, the Interactive DVD game. This is the game show that, um, it's that game show where you spin the way on it's like, bing, 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 no whammies, no whammies, and stop. Uh -huh. This is a, this is a fun little game show. Yeah, it says on the box here, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it says on the side here, the classic TV game show for the whole family. This one was, I believe I got this one for my birthday, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, and this is another one that just has a DVD in it, so, uh, no reason to, um, like, no reason to include a whole box when it's just a DVD. But, yeah, that's what the press you like wheel in the game looks like there. And, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like when you get a whammy. And then, just, like, some spaces on the wheel and stuff, I guess, on that picture. Take a, oh, that's, uh, when you get pick a corner on the wheel. I can pick one of the corners on the wheel. So, for example, one corner would have $2,500 plus a spoon, $4,000, or a travel trailer. So, yeah, that's that. And this thing's here, it's hosted by Todd Newton. Um, 
you might know Todd Newton from hosting another game show called Family Game Night. I just watched quite a bit when I was younger. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's hop all these down here. Philosophy Millionaire DVD game. This one was another one I got for my birthday, if I remember correctly. Um, and yeah, obviously it's just like trivia questions and stuff, and you have lifelines and stuff. And and actually, you don't just answer the questions on the DVD and stuff. It comes with cards that you answer the questions with. So yeah, that's that. It says play the world's greatest quiz game on your DVD player right there. So yeah. This next one was yet another random thrift store find. This is the High School Musical DVD game uh, or DVD board game. Uh, I had to correct myself there. Um, if you know me, you know I'm a pretty big High School Musical fan. Um, yeah, I found this nice musical DVD board game in a, a randomly in a thrift store and I had to have it. So, yeah. It says it includes clips from the movie. And, uh, basically how this game works like, a lot of trivia and stuff, like, um, basically there's four trivia categories in this, so there's, uh, sing the songs, where you have to, like, sing the, like, sing the songs, and uh, I think it's, they like have missing lyrics and you have to fill in the lyrics or something or maybe you just have to maybe you just have to regularly sing the songs i don't remember don't 100 percent remember then there's a category called actual or so not which have to determine which uh you have to determine whether the it shows like two pictures and you have to choose um or no it just shows one picture and you have to decide whether it's real or fake if there's like something fake in the picture or something then dance to the choreography, fall in the missing dance steps as you strut your stuff. You have to remember what the dance moves are. And then just test your knowledge, answer questions about everything, it just sound just like regular trivia questions and stuff. So yeah, that's that. And it says sing, dance, and earn your way into the final callbacks right there. And then I also have a Heist Musical 2 DB game. Mattel DVD, as you can see, right there. Um, if, excuse me. Um, so after I had gotten the DVD, you know, the original High School, High School Musical movie, um, I found out there was a... Well, actually, I think I used to have the High School Musical 2 DVD game when I was younger. Um, but I, like, lost the whole board game stuff, only had the, the DVD, and I was, like, really, like, got rid of it. Um... So I actually I already knew about this game. I had when I was younger and I had wanted to get it back ordered it from Amazon one time. Um as part of like a I got a, I actually got like two Amazon gift cards as part of like a graduation present for my graduation party in twenty twenty one. And um yes yeah, one of the things I ordered with those Amazon gift cards. It says dance the move, sing the songs, real clips from the movie. Um, this is basically the same thing as the original High School Musical game. Uh, a lot of the same categories, um, like the sing the songs in this one, you actually have to choose the the missing lyric. You have to choose, like, uh, there's like a missing lyric in the song, um, and you have to remember what well, lyric is the right one, the one that's missing. And then actual or so on that, where you have to, um, in this one, in the first High Musical game, the actual or so on that, it just showed a picture and you had to, you had to guess, uh, whether it was real or fake, but, uh, this actual or so on that, in the High Musical 2 game, actually shows three pictures and you have to determine which one is the, you have to choose which one is the real one. And then dance the steps, figure out the right dance sequence, right there, and just, uh, basically the same thing as the original High Musical game. We have to remember what the right dance moves are. And 
and then a category that actually wasn't in the original Heist Musical game who said that, which character said you have to figure out which character said the quote that it shows you. That category wasn't in the first Heist Musical DVD game. And that category actually, actually replaces the general trivia category as in the original Heist Musical game. And uh, yeah, I like this game a lot better than the original Heist Musical game. I just think that this game was done a lot better than the first one, at least in my opinion. Anyway, there's like three more here, and then I'll be it. So next up, I have a South Park uh, Totally Sweet DVD trivia game. Um, so uh, this one was uh, technically, uh, technically my brother got this for Christmas, but then uh, he decided to, um, he lives in the apartment, he decided to keep it here. Because he has a PS4 at his apartment, but, um, when is he ever just gonna randomly play this game at his apartment, you know? So he decided to keep the game here, and I guess it's kind of mine now. But, uh, yeah, so I was part of the Totally Sweet DVD trivia game. My brother had, was actually the one that introduced me to South Park. And it's a funny show. Um, I haven't watched it in a long time, though. I shall watch it again. South Park is basically my brother's comfort show. He watches at least a couple episodes before bed every night. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, this, uh, this is actually another game that was made by the same people that made the scenic games, Screen Life. Um, but uh, this isn't just a DVD game, it also comes with, like, cars and stuff. I think whenever you get one of the trivia questions right on the DVD, you can get an extra card to add to the deck and you have to make like sets of cards and give them those points and stuff yeah that's pretty cool but you can see a couple of like the categories and stuff down here like i've learned something to pay attention children so yeah obviously it says 18 and up for mature audiences right there so yeah if you're a little kid don't watch south park Oops. There we go, the game's down there toppled over. Alright, there's two more here. This one, um... So, uh, this next one is a Price is Right TV game. This one is actually a graduation present from my sister, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, so it's a Price is Right new DVD edition, just like the real show. And, uh, yeah. And this one you can actually play by yourself. Well, actually, quite a few of these DVD games you can just play by yourself. Just, like, answer jury questions by yourself and stuff on a lot of these. Not just trivia questions, but obviously a lot of these are, like, games of game shows and stuff. Um, anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd wanted this price rate DVD game for a while, and I put it on my graduation present list, and my sister got a point. Um, I know there's, like, a second uh, price is right DVD game, second edition as well. I don't think there's really any real differences between this game and that one. I don't really know, but, um, yeah, this come as you can see, this comes with, like, dry erase boards and markers, like, put your bid on and stuff. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah. And uh, this also has clips from the actual game show as well. These pictures are from the DVD, and like you see Plinko there, and The Wheel, and Safe Crackers, which is one of the pricing games in the DVD game. It says it comes with six wipe off bid boards, four bid board markers, one DVD game, one instruction sheet. So that's what the dry erase boards are called, is bid boards. This is the last one. I think this is the the biggest one that I have. Um, this is an American Idol All Star Challenge DVD game. Um, I don't quite a hundred percent remember where I got this one. I feel like maybe it was from a. Uh, actually, no. I think I, I think I do remember. I think it was from a. I think I found this at a garage sale that was in my neighborhood. Actually, if I remember correctly. This is a pretty cool game. I used to watch American Idol quite a bit when I was younger, but, uh, oh, it's upside down. Okay, um, yeah, like I
like I was saying, I used to watch Mary Tyler quite a bit when I was younger. I'm definitely not as much of a fan of it now. I'm definitely more of an America's Got Talent fan now, but I, I loved Mary Tyler when I was younger. But, yeah, then when I got older, I started to get more into America's Got Talent instead. And a lesson to American Idol. And, uh, yeah. So basically in this game, um, it's actually another game that was made by the same company that made the scenic game, Screen Life. And, uh, yeah, like I said, basically in this game, you show off your, like, singing and dancing talent in front of the judges. But obviously now, not really in front of the judges, because just the DVD game or something like it's a video call or anything. Uh, but it plays clips from the show, um, like, as if the judges are actually judging you, but obviously they're not, um, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool game, though, and, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. So, um, yeah, that's actually it for this video. Um, this is my DVD board game collection. Um, it's kind of annoying that, um, I, like, remember where I got all of these games except for one, the real Friend House Rainy 2D game. I don't remember where I got that one because I've had it one for a long time. It's kind of annoying, like, I can't remember where I got that from, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's fun. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And, um, I'm planning on making a video tomorrow of, uh, I'm going to be revisiting a video game console that I haven't been on in forever. That I'm going to get back. I'm not going to say what it is here. I'm going to make a video of that tomorrow. Uh, probably. But, um, yeah. I'm going to be, yeah, from that video, I'm going to be revisiting a video game console that I'm going to buy that I've been on a very long time. It's going to be very nostalgic for me. Like I said, I'm not going to say what the video game console is here in this video. I'll just have to find out and make a video about it tomorrow. Um. Hopefully, anyway. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to make it. Um, but, um, yeah, I think I will make it. But, anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, ring the bell so that you get notified whenever I post any new videos. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And, I'll, of course, see you in the next video. Peace.